It wasn't too many years ago that Canadians got sick and tired of the arrogance of the federal Liberals, and now it seems maybe it's just part of their DNA and it's bubbling back to the surface. Now, just witness what happened on CTV Question Period when Evan Solomon held Catherine McKenna, the Environment Minister, to account over climate change policy. I have no time for folks who are like, you know, we shouldn't take action. Um, like, you what know do you mean you have no time? you got to have time. you got to. Well, you, your no, job is to have time but, for but, folks that care about this issue and want to understand but, but it. I, no, I, I... Yes, Madam Minister, you have the duty to hear out everyone, even the ones you do not agree with. Now, it is obvious to me that man-made climate change is a clear and present danger, but that's not the point. In many ways, the liberal, sunny ways of doing business sometimes is meant to include only those of a like mind. And my guess is that Canadians are on to it. The latest poll numbers point to a Tory government. Now, according to the CBC's pollster, at this point, the Conservatives can win from 129 to 188 seats. The Liberals, 108 to 181. The NDP, 11 to 56. The Bloc, 0 to 8. And the Greens, 1 to 2. And the Prime Minister's Bollywood romance didn't do him any favors. In fact, well, most Canadians were embarrassed. It is still early, though. We have had only a couple of one-term majority governments in our history. But this honeymoon is over, and now it's time to listen. It will be quite a fight for sovereignty this October in the Montreal riding of Rosemont. Now, the thing is, separatists will be fighting each other, and that just warms my heart. Long-term La Presse columnist Vincent Marcel announced this week he will be running for the left-wing Quebec Solidaire. Now, the seat is occupied by PQ leader Jean-Francois Lisset, and if I were him, I would be worried. The PQ only won the seat last time by 1,600 votes, and things for the PQs are going from bad to worse. At this point, they are headed for their worst electoral defeat ever, making the last election their second worst electoral defeat ever. Well, it is a job that is certain to baffle the brightest minds as the parking ticket festival season begins. The City of Montreal wants to make parking signs more understandable. Now, sometimes it's like trying to read the Dead Sea Scrolls, the Gordian knots of parking. Now, of course, nothing is guaranteed, and sometimes when the bureaucrats get involved, it just gets worse. Now, this falls into the category of you only had one job to do. Look at this advertising from the NDP caucus in Saskatchewan. As one government minister pointed out, they want to run the province, but they can't even spell it. And now over to their cousins in Manitoba. The NDP wishing the Jewish community a good Passover with a lovely loaf of challah. Nice, except uh, Passover doesn't include a lot of bread. In fact, none. Ever. That's why we have matzah. Nice job. But the photo of the week has to be this. Now, I'm not sure what to say. There are plenty of jokes here. Maybe you can complete it. A buffoon and a bunny walk onto a balcony and, well, all I can say is I'm not sure which one is more of a harebrain. Have fun. And please, everyone, all together now, let's pray for some spring. I'm Barry Wilson. You can follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Just click right here. And don't forget to check out our weekly poll on Facebook. We want to know what you think.